Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday morning, and I know that I'm not at school. Usually I'm recording videos at school, and I just thought maybe I'll just record a video of you spending Saturday with me. just got done with my workout. I have a Peloton, so I've been doing this um, strength program for anybody who uses Peloton. I've been doing that intro strength program with Maddie and Olivia, and I love it. I'm on my last week, so I'm kind of a sweaty mess. I'm just looking at myself. So the plan for today is I am finishing my courses for the teacher prep room. My unit menus course is all done. So now I need to finish up working on my flip like an expert course. So that's kind of the plan. But before I do any of the recording and things that I need to do, I definitely need to take a shower. Well, I'm dressed. I'm ready. I am headed into the kitchen. I need to make some lunch because I'm a little hungry after my workout. I am going to put this down here. Honestly, I still feel like I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> so I might even have another cup of coffee. Um, oh, it looks like my... Beasts are following me, my furry beasts. Let me allow you to meet a couple of them. Hold on. Oh, you hear it though. <laughs> hey, hi, you're saying hi to everybody. Charlie, she does enough talking for the two of you. So this is Anna and Charlie, and they know where the goods are. You can see they definitely know where they are. So they want some treats. So I'm gonna give them a couple of treats and then I'll make lunch. One of the things that I absolutely love to make for lunch, which is really simple, is um, just a protein shake. I just go to GNC. I don't know if, I don't say, I think they went out of business, but I buy all my GNC products from Amazon. Um, so I use, sorry, I use um, Lean Shake Burn. This is, I'm almost actually out of this. This is pretty good. Um, it's not a lot of calories, pretty low. And carbs because I'm watching my carbohydrates. Sorry, my hair looks crazy. What just happened here? Looks like I need a little more hairspray before I start recording. Um, but I like to uh, mix this with almond milk and then I do um, some ice and I just mix it up in my Ninja Foodi. I love this thing. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, it's like a total game changer when you're making um, different smoothies. So I love it. in my office area I have a couple of um, social media posts to schedule so I'm gonna do those quickly I want to check in with um, some of the project seed people that I'm working with so I don't think I told you guys this but I was invited to participate in a volunteering opportunity with the American um, Chemical Society ACS and it's called project seed basically I am a cabin manager and so I'll be helping students and helping the cabin leaders, which the cabin leaders are all um, current college students, mostly seniors in college. And basically what the program does is it helps the students um, get kind of a head start in studying science and it puts some really great programs together for the students, gives them a place to really just express themselves, learn about what it would be like to be a scientist, and then it teaches them skills like how to write a resume, how to introduce yourself. Um, and so my role, I guess, as one of the cabin managers, I'm actually a co-cabin manager, is just to help the cabin leaders have weekly meetings with the students. And then one of the things that I was gonna do is um, teach the students a little bit about some of the tech tools and things that they can use for productivity, keeping themselves organized as students, just whatever I can do to help. So I'm really excited. As I said, it's completely volunteer. Project Seed is amazing because it helps economically disadvantaged students, regardless of their race, their gender, their sexual orientation. So I'm really excited to be a part of it. That actually kicks off next week. So I just want to check in with them, make sure that everything's going well with that. And then I will probably get working on my Flip Like an Expert course. I'm just about to start recording my intro video. Um, so pre-sale for my 
uh, courses and Bethany's courses go on sale on the 28th. So I have to record my intro video and just talk a little bit about the course and the different offerings of the course and what I hope to teach in the course. So I'm going to do that right now and then I'm going to upload it and which is it's pretty quick. Um, it really doesn't take too long and I don't have a lot of editing to do when I do my videos like this. And then once I'm done with that, then I'm just going to make sure and put kind of the finishing touches on all the activities and make sure everything looks good and then we should be good to go. I just finished recording my Flip Like an Expert intro video and I thought I'd just take a break before I start video editing and just talk about my courses. I absolutely had like the best summer last year collaborating with teachers and working at the teacher prep room and I was just so excited to be able to do this again with Bethany. Um, and I thought this year was almost even just as important as last year is just helping teachers because honestly, next year I think is going to be a little bit shocking in that I think that students are really going to have a hard time readjusting to life inside the classroom and they really need to get acclimated. And I think that a lot of teachers need to develop some tools in their toolbox to help their students adjust. And so it is my hope that through my courses on unit menus and flip learning, that teachers are going to feel more prepared than ever to tackle these challenges. Um, because really what needs to happen is I think our, our teachers really need to integrate um, technology in, into their classrooms in meaningful ways, of course, because we've had a lot of tech this past year, but also helping their students one on one. And I think that with these two courses, no longer are teachers going to have to stand up and talk, 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 talk. Instead, it really takes the teacher from out of being the center of attention. And instead, it helps them work with the students individually. And that's really, I think, the goal this year is that we're going to have to be spending a lot of time helping our students because they're just frankly not used to this. And some of us have seen our students be out of the classroom for a year or more. Um, and so I think we just need some strategies to ease our students back into learning again. We need to teach our students how to be students again, because it's just been such a topsy-turvy um, educational environment. My two courses, Unit Menus and Flip Like an Expert, I think are going to really help complement and give some teachers the tools that they need in order to help them feel a little bit more prepared to help their students with their struggles. Bethany has two awesome courses that she's teaching, and I'm actually really excited to take them myself. I almost wish there were courses like this around when I was struggling as a new teacher even, but um, there's two courses she's teaching, um, one about helping students in science class with literacy and then helping students in science class with math. And so um, those are going to be amazing courses that she's got print materials that you could just grab and go and print and give it to your students right away to help them. Um, and so I think that this summer, really the theme is scaffolding. We want to scaffold and help our kids. And um, I think that uh, by investing time in these courses, because by the way, they are mini courses, they're not as sizable as last year's courses, but they're still like chock full of resources, like handouts and things. I think teachers are kind of tired right? So we were kind of thinking that mini courses might be a more manageable thing for teachers to handle this summer because I know a lot of teachers went crazy last year, myself included, with professional development. So that was kind of our goal. So that is pretty much it for me. Um, I'm going to be doing some video editing and then it looks like it's going to rain out. I was really hoping to go for a walk. Maybe I'll try to do that before it starts raining looks a little overcast. This is my typical Saturday, at least at least when I'm planning courses and things. It wasn't as much of a low-key Saturday as I was hoping for, but that's okay. I'm really excited to share what I've been creating and working on with teachers, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a little different than I have done in the past, but if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, don't give me a thumbs down, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you don't like it, it's okay. Um, I won't take it personally. I just thought I was trying something different. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye.